Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? Back with another freaking reaction. I know it's been a little bit. I was on vacation camping. Now um, I'm getting everything ready for my EMT class that starts in like three days. So I gotta get, gotta get a bunch of crap together, just a whole bunch of shit. But man, I'm ready, people. I'm ready for a reaction. I haven't been here in a little bit. This is uh, Tom Brainwash. What? Of course, I'm, you know, I'm cleaning up figuring out what i'm gonna do i'm thinking i'm gonna do a video today and i forget oh tom mcdonald uploads you know i forgot i saw i got an update about it yesterday and i just saw two minute ago upload boom let's get that sucker rolling so here we are let's hit brainwash tom mcdonald thanks for chilling with me guys happy to be back let's rock it the country fell asleep, but they scream woke. We're distracted by vaccines and TV shows. Politics, celebrity, gossip, popular, neat quotes. Black lives, white lives, which lives mean most? We only dedicate one day to remember uh. our brothers, soldiers, the men and women who died young. <laughs> okay, we're starting fast and hard, man. This is a... I gotta fucking wake up for this one. Shit. All right, here we go. <laughs> Let's fucking run that back one more time. Hold on, we're starting that fast. Sometimes he goes in like that. Sometimes he builds up to it. And then, boom, hits you. Sometimes it's just... Boom, right from the fucking, right from the get-go. Let's go. Half the country fell asleep, but they scream woke. We're distracted by vaccines and TV shows. Politics, celebrity, gossip, popular, neat quotes. Black lives, white lives, which lives mean most? We only dedicate uh, one day to remember it. our fallen soldiers, the men and women who died young. But if you come uh. out the closet as Caitlyn Jenner, you're a hero and you get a whole pride month. The most dangerous pandemic's propaganda from these clowns. Only mass that's gonna save us is duct tape on their mouths. Don't speak. We don't need to defund police. Ooh. Need to defund the media who lies through their teeth like Big Pharma does. Woo, baby. Fucking spitting the truth here, man. This shit is nasty. Screaming defund the police or defund the fucking media. They're literally spitting lying in your face. It's just nasty, man. Like, whoo, Tom gonna hit us hard, man. He has something to preach in this one. Fuck's sake. We don't need to okay. defund police, need to defund the media who lies through their teeth. Like, Big Pharma uh. doesn't cure you, dog. Cause every patient that gets cured is a customer lost. And Big Oil runs the world. The only wars that get fought are with the countries who have natural resources they want. Heard him claiming if a white man braids his hair and likes rap, he's appropriating culture. Oh, man. Man, didn't we come like. <laughs> Didn't we start producing most of our oil a few years ago? And hasn't that fucking been backtracked? I mean, what's going on, man? Fucking hell. He's uh, now all, all I saw today is fucking they're little fucking retaking Afghanistan now. Taliban has if you look at the map, what the government controls of Afghanistan versus what the Taliban controls, it was like eighty to fucking ten percent Taliban over government, and like the five percent were like the the remaining percent was unknown. <laughs> it's like, okay, it's just brutal, man. And they're in there, they're, I don't know, they're in there for a fucking, I don't even want to, I don't even fucking know half the reasons, half the reasons people think they're in there may, may or may not be true. Who the fuck knows, man? Uh, it's wild time shit. But I, just, I know they want that oil. I'm with the countries who have natural resources they want. Heard him claiming if a white man braids his hair and likes rap, he's appropriating culture. But if a white man acts too white, he's white trash. He's a racist, he's a bigot, he's a monster. Let's just have... Oh, hold on. I just want to say, I was just watching PewDiePie, man. He was, even, even he was saying... It's literally, it's so fucking true. I don't even fucking know if that shit's real. <laughs> I don't even believe in that shit. The cultural appropriate, like, and it's literally something like he said, like, maybe years ago and whatever, but modern day, <laughs> modern day, man, we're, we're fucking grown ups. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. And <laughs> it's just nasty, man. Fuck that bullshit. They, like, people pay homage and respect and you're out here trying to fucking roast them. It's, it's wild. Fucking hell. All right, let's go. Braids his hair and likes rap. He's appropriating culture. But if a white man acts too white, he's white trash. He's a racist. He's a bigot. Honestly, he's a monster. Not naked. No, we can do it. Not every liberal is dumb. Not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting mm. with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. They can't stop us. My bad. I'm not putting the shit full screen. I've been so used to watching shit like this. Hold up. Long will probably go against them. They can't stop us. Cause we're ready to fight. Trying to brainwash us. But we won't let freedom die. The whole world's brainwashed. And everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. It's us against them, it ain't you against me. 
the monkeys become Literally. people and the people turn to Oh, it's brutal, man. It's people. That's one thing I think. I swear, people are forgetting. They're like people are like siding with the government and organizations and entities over like people nowadays. It's fucking wild. Like that shit's wild. It's not them. Like what does he say here? It's not uh, um, like you against me. It's us against them, pretty much. Like it's it's the people against everyone trying to fuck us over. What are you guys? What are people doing with fucking? If you have like Facebook and Amazon's back, man, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Uh, I don't know. It's just weird. It's, and I, I, you know, it, it's brutal. Cause at the same time, what are you gonna hate the successful people? Some like 80% of millionaires started a, as not millionaires and started out as nothing. And it's like, it's just wild though. But it that you have to like, I mean, nowadays it's just feeling like these companies are shitty, man. They cut corners. They fucking cutting people out. It's all about profit. These fuckers are million and billionaires at the top, and people below are getting shat on. Man, it's nasty. It's just brutal. Lot of size though. How did monkeys become people and people turned into sheep? They put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep. Claim they. Oh. Oh, I'm with God, so I don't believe that part of it. But that's literally what he's fucking almost on a jab at too how did fucking monkeys turn to people and how people turn to sheep like that is nasty man come on turned into sheep. they put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep claim they want with against me how did monkeys become I've heard people that. and people turned into sheep they put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep claim they want what's best for us I find it hard shit. to believe because they've been selling us cigarettes since we was 18 fake news fake woke distract and divide you're either right or you're left or you're black or you're white big tech don't need a microchip to hack in your life because the phone inside your pocket is a tracking device and i don't know what i'm a sick Ooh. of rappers or joe biden looking like he ate 100 xanax for dinner because censoring the president Honestly. Him on twitter is a bigger threat to freedom than foreign belief you don't trust the police like honestly dude <laughs> like what the fuck I'm hearing about bombs dropping troops moving like fucking hell dude <laughs> yeah I gotta gotta get Trump off the internet but let this guy run the country like fucking hell that's that's just some wild backwards fucking backhanded shit that's oh uh, it's brutal man it's wild and I I know that this is a hot take right here. I don't even really care, man. I really don't even care. It's just feeling like a godless nation to me. This is like this is the kind of stuff that happens when you do, like the kind of way ways people feel and the kind of things that happen when nobody wants to know God. People hate God. Like it really is. That's that's just one of the ways I feel, man. For real. Like this, this, this people need God. They, they've managed to make a meme of it. Y'all need Jesus. Y'all need Jesus. Uh, all that kind of shit. But like. In, in reality, you guys literally do need Jesus. If a lot of you read the Bible and took some time to fucking know God and gain some spirituality, like, it's like, man, maybe we'd have some fucking better people floating around this fucking country. It's just brutal. I don't right, know what I'm all sick of. <laughs> Rappers or Joe Biden looking like he ate 100 Xanax for dinner. Because censoring the president and kicking him off Twitter is a bigger threat to freedom than foreign ballistic missiles. Yeah, smell those you girls. Don't trust the police or the government, but you want people giving up their right to own a firearm. Why would you be comfortable if police and the government the only people on the planet with the right to buy a gun? White privilege getting amplified uh, to reinforce the vision. It convinces white people that they're favored by their skin, and black people getting angry because they're told they're treated different. So the conflict is between us and never with the system. Let's just have the conversation. Yeah, honestly. Liberal is dumb. Like honestly, that's that's so fucking sad, man. These like, um, like I want to start swearing at, at fucking like just. But it's like you're swearing at the wind. Like I want to start like these. I'm about to say like these motherfuckers, man. I'm just thinking like who? Like who am I even necessarily referencing? But it's, it's the government and these fucking big. It's billionaires and it's million and billionaires in the government is who a lot of this shit's referencing, and it's just brutal. It's brutal, but it's it's honestly it's the fucking thousand percent right about keeping that fucking keeping the issue and keeping the problems between the people, man. Like that's. This is white up. people that they're favored that by their skin and black up, people man. getting angry because they're told they're treated different. So the conflict is between us and never with the system. Let's just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb. Not all Republicans are racist. The government wants yep. everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. They can't stop Honestly. us because we're ready to fight, trying to Ooh. brainwash us, but we won't let freedom die. Hey, hell of time. Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. It's us against them, it ain't you against me. Step one, 
Honestly. I train the people only to consume. Step two, infiltrate adults with the news. Step three, indoctrinate the children through the schools and the music and the apps on the phones that they use. Step four, separate the uh. right from the left. Step five, separate the white from the black. Step six, separate the rich from the poor. Use religion and equality to separate them more. Step seven, fabricate a problem made a lie. Step eight, put it on the news every night. Step nine, when people start to fight and divide, take control. This is called situational design. They can't stop us, cause we're ready to fight. Try uh, you know what's <clears throat> what's brutal? I'm just thinking about like who am I, who I'm considering the they, and who he may be even talking about. But you know, to, it might not be exactly who he's talking about. But uh, to me, it's almost that they and who he's referencing here is the devil, man. It's gnarly. He's got a nasty grip and influence on a fuck ton of people, and it's it's rough shit. It's fuck. There's some evil shit going on, man, around the world, and it's the devil. It's not anything else. It's like, it's brutal. It's people doing the devil's work, and it's fucked up. It's rough shit. But that that really is, like, who kind of the day is, to me at least. Like, I, I, the only defense is God, man. Put on the armor of God, like it says in the fucking Bible. It's brutal. Whew. <clears throat> but I'm just saying, yeah, I don't even mean to get too religious, but it's, it's, uh, <clears throat> that's the way, it's, it's kind of the, it's kind of what I think when I see it, man. That day is is the fucking negative evil influence on the world that I, I think comes from the devil man it's great more step seven Ooh. fabricate a problem made a lie step eight put it on the news every night step nine when people start to fight and divide take rough. control this is called situational design they can stop us cause we're ready to fight trying to brainwash us but we won't let freedom die the whole world's brain Honestly, <clears throat> I do love that line though. Try to brainwash, try to brainwash us, but we won't let freedom die. Like honestly, uh, there's two. There is a lot of guys and fucking ladies out there like me that would fight. It's nasty. Like it's, well, I, I'd fight for freedom, man. I'd fight if if things got real bad. Yeah, I'd be out there. It's gnarly. It's just brutal. I just, I'm just thinking about, man. What would God want me to do? And it's gnarly. <laughs> that's what that's what everybody pick a team start a riot in the streets the whole world's brain it's us against them and ain't you against me mm. let's go baby whoo diggity Ooh, dig him right that run just for a sec so I could fucking skip that son of gun. We could have my boy in the background. Look at that gang gang next. Let's go. Let's leave it paused here. But man, that was. Whew. He's talking some shit, man. That's he, he deserves to. It's fucking true. He's calling some shit out. He's he's aggravated like like I am and like a lot of fucking guys are. And I'm just happy someone's out there saying it in a way I'd I'd kind of want it to be said and a little a little pissed off and just fucking. Sometimes you gotta tell them what's up, man. Fucking talking about these brainwashed ass people. It's rough, man. They, it really, that's what it's feeling like these days. Alright, come on, little swirly death symbol. But, uh, jeez. No, he's just calling out a lot of the fucking crap in the country these days. These people are being hypocritical and shitty to each other, and it's fucking, it's like, I, I think it's a lot of the devil and. It's the devil working through the government and fucking big entities that have the most power. It's like something I heard on a podcast. It's like, I'm not surprised somebody who seeks out power uses it in a shitty way. And um, what's his name on Joe Rogan, this other comedian guy. I can't remember, I can't remember, his, remember his name. Shoals or something. Um, but literally, though, like these people that seek that shit out, I don't, I'm not fucking surprised they're using it in a shitty way. And I'm not surprised the devil's influencing them. I I would I'd guess man the not that it's few and far between but there's not nearly as many people with nearly as many good-hearted you know positive thinking people in the government like and just in, in it, 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 to get to that fucking place to get to that billionaire role or that fucking government role man it's gnarly uh, it's just brutal just makes me think of that freaking uh I don't even know why but that that fucking quiet place too and the one guy's like the guy the people left aren't worth saving it's like the people that make it that high man they're oof that's a rough one 
it's that's rough. But I'm just I'm just spitting and rambling a little bit, guys. Spitting some crap. <laughs> thanks for uh, thanks for chilling with me. I start my freaking EMT class pretty soon. I'm a little I'm a little nervous to be honest, but I should be all right. Should be all right. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. It's okay. I'm gonna. This is what I. This is just something I feel. I gotta do it. I can't work these other crap jobs anymore. I can't. I've done too many of them, and I, I've been the last. I dropped out of high school. Got my fucking GED. How much I hated school. Like I. Then I after years of working realized, man, I need to fucking go hit college. <laughs> like I really do. And did some classes. Figured out I wanted to do EMT. Finished my EMR last year, and now I'm on the EMT. Let's fucking go. We're starting. Uh, on Monday, so is that three days or two? Friday today, so like pretty much three days, but whew, wish me luck, people, thanks for chilling with me, don't forget to like, and so I'm just rambling a little bit today, I haven't made a video in a while, but thanks for hanging out, guys, I really appreciate it, I'll keep, I'm gonna try to keep videos coming throughout all this, maybe I'll give updates on my class and shit, but yeah, thanks for chilling, I really appreciate it, guys, you guys are the best, don't forget to like and sub, let's go, I'm out of here, peace.